stomach. So we're going to find the stomach, and then we're going to find the greater curvature or the lesser curvature of the stomach as a way of feeling the uh, lesser omentum, the greater omentum. Okay? So, the uh, easiest way to feel the stomach is to find the angle of the rib here. Okay? Now, everyone's a little different, and of course the stomach's shape changes depending on the contents of the stomach. But if you feel the inferior margin of the rib cage, being gentle, not, po not being too pokey, what you'll feel is that there's this angle of the ribs. That's to say the ribs go down, 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 and then up, 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 up. And right here at the angle of the rib is roughly adjacent to the greater curvature of the stomach, the outer curve, right? Again, if we are palpating up the ribs, and you let me know if, if I... Should I tell a non-funny joke so you don't laugh? <laughs> um, if you find the xiphoid process and position your finger pad, uh, your thumb pad or your finger pad, at, along the, the rib, the, the sort of true-false ribs, just to the left side of the xiphoid process, you're just above the inner curve of the stomach here. Okay? So, uh, so uh, those are, as your bony landmarks, everything between here is the stomach, and the stomach is, is right up against the parietal peritoneum. Its, viscer, its visceral layer is oftentimes has this gentle bowed quality, this gentle convex quality, and it feels kind of slippy slidey, right? So if I just sink my finger pads through the skin layer, through the abdominal muscle layer, just enough so that when I move my finger pads, the abdominal muscle layer comes with me a little bit. What I might feel is a, a sense of a gentle convex fluid pressure that planes off laterally, inferiorly, medially, a little bit superiorly. If you want to confirm, you can, and, and you want to, and your patient won't get pissed at you for this, you can, you can do some drumming. And the stomach makes a really awesome, distinctive drum, you know, hollow drum sound. Compare that sound to this sound. It's a little duller over here. The liver makes a much worse drum. <laughs> okay. So, uh, so there's there's our stomach. Greater curvature, lesser curvature, uh, and I'm using again. I'm sinking just enough to deform the muscular abdominal wall, and then I'm traveling side to side. Doing so, I want you to get a feel for where that feeling stops, where that smooth feeling stops, and all of a sudden you sink into a little more of a fatty, murky space. That's the, that's the transition point between the stomach and the greater omentum. So we can kind of walk around the greater curve of the stomach. And even if you're a fancy teacher giving a demo, always allow for the fact that you might be full of crap. And and that's not a digestive metaphor, that's just, just intellectual humility. <laughs> am, I, am I full of it? Okay. Greater curvature, greater, greater curvature. Right around when you get to midline, and about an inch above the belly button, you got your duodenum, right? Uh, uh, sorry, the beginning of the duodenum, pyloric valve. Okay. On the top side of that, and rounding your way up to the, the left side of the xiphoid is your lesser curvature. And once again, you can feel it. You can go from the stomach and plane off until zoop, you land on what feels like a trampoline. Look at where my fingers are right now. My finger pads are feeling the stomach, the inside curve of the stomach. My fingertips are feeling kind of a trampoline layer. That's the lesser omentum. Okay. And if I move my fingertips, I notice that there's a curvature here. 
And as I curve down like this, I'm curving down towards the pylorus. If I curve up like this, and I can follow it into the diaphragm dome, I'm going up toward the esophagus and the cardiac uh, uh, sphincter of, of the esophagus, right? So inside curve of the stomach, outside curve of the stomach. How do I find it? I find it via bony landmarks and via sinking to the right layer and slippy sliding around, feeling the quality under my finger pads. Okay. Kidneys and stomach. Let's try it out.